coming off a win over American earlier in the week. In the game, they dropped 98 points. And an offense this year for the Retrievers has been stellar. Oladapo and Big John Hughley down low for the Panthers, who enter at 2-3. Odichali with the drive off the glass and in to start the scoring for the Panthers today. Missed shot on the wing there. Jeffress grabbing the rebound. Outlet to Odichali. He'll take a pull-up three. And he knocks it down. He's defended by Oladapo. Got to let your guy Kennedy touch it. Get him involved. Kennedy leading scorer for the Retrievers. Fade away off the glass and in. At six foot six, senior from Atlanta, Georgia. Nice pass inside there to Owens. Owens with the turnaround hook shot for two. Forces a miss. Rebound Noah Collier, who's new to the game, along with Jamarius Burton and Mogi. Open Oda Cali for three. Once more, Femi from downtown. Got a location. There's shooters. one from Bunyasif. Retrievers coming off a great three point shooting night against American. Dump down low to Collier this time. Collier, nice move in the low block for two. This is Jamarius Burton, uses a screen from Collier, finds Gee on the outside, and Gee knocks it down. The third three-pointer of the day already for the Panthers. He was America East Defensive Player of the Year last season for Stony Brook, and knocks down the three that time for the Panthers, but Bunya Sith hits his second from downtown today for the Panthers this year, but that's his first in regular season play, and now Bunyasith over the six foot. Marius Burton transfer from Texas Tech, playing under Chris Beard a season ago. He takes the pull up three and he hits it. And a three point percentage of just 22%. NBC with an offensive rebound here. They get another chance from Kennedy. He knocks it down for three. Ugly six foot nine, the sophomore missed the final 15 games last season, but has been the leading scorer in the early going of this season for the Panthers. And I think he talked about that specifically about Hugley as a guy who has a tendency to maybe let his frustrations on offense continue on the defensive end as we see a foul in the corner and and one. Close out without fouling the shooters. Oh, I don't know. He's gonna have to give some solid minutes. For Burton, for Femi. Get those guys quick. quick huh? Six point lead now, UMBC. Hugley cross court finds Easy Akuda. Jab step, takes the three, knocks it down. That's the fifth shot from the on the arc tonight to fall for the Panthers, but UMBC responds with one of their own. For Darnell Rogers, 5 2 guard from Baltimore. Another three there falls for Wojcik. Hey, he got it on a yo-yo right now. You see Rogers. <laughs> oh, the handles from uh, yeah. Rogers okay. and the kick to Johnson for the triple. UMBC has it all going early. Coach Capel tried to stop the run with the timeout, but you know. And there's the feed to Hughley in the end one. Harden's not liking that, huh? <laughs> not at all. Things are different this year. Lovely touch pass. It's a great pass. Three from the top of the arc for D. He gets his second triple of the contest. Santos inside to Hughley. Hughley backing down Salnave, who's 6'3", and he uses his power and his height to get the two. <laughs> you got to. <laughs> Come on now. That's what you got to tell him. Kennedy from the corner. Yes. I think the Panthers are getting the shots that they want, but it's on this end defensively. You know, it's not doing a good enough job getting to the shooters, not playing with enough energy. You can't psych yourself out mentally if you have a, you know, a bad stretch. Believe in yourself. Corner three from Jeffress Falls. Panthers cut the lead to 12. It's a great sign for the Panthers. Jeffress getting them to action. So both teams shooting above 70% from three-point range.
Hughley using the body to get to the rim. Draws the foul, puts it up and in. They've had nine players contribute to the scoring offensively. Oh, to Cali. Cross court pass to Gee for his third triple of the game. Oh, you put him in the same <laughs> sentence as KD. I'm going to get killed for that one, huh? He's got to make a few more threes to reach KD level, I think. I got you. Mention Pitt struggles from three point range. They also enter with the worst free throw percentage in the ACC, but how about that reverse from Rodgers? Collier at the line, outside to Burton. Rodgers on him, eight to shoot for the Panthers. Burton takes the pull up, gets that one to fall. Kennedy, strong take to two. Burton has to shoot here. Well defended by Rodgers. Panthers get the offensive rebound. Burton was screaming for it on the low block, but Hughley goes up and puts a nice shot in there for two. Yeah, Jim Ferry made it clear that his career is not done when he's finished at UMBC. This is a guy that can continue to play basketball. And how about that? Retrievers with a great play off the inbound as Wojcik's into double figures. Well done by Wojcik. Gee looking for his fourth three of the game, and he nails it. Deep three there, swatted away by Gee. Both ends, he's getting it done, finishes with a two-handed jam. Uh, it's huge, you know, especially when you, you make a play on defense and it turns into a play on offense. You just got to keep the energy going. Jeffress is the leading rebounder for the Panthers today with six. Hughley down low, backing down the defender, block called, and one, John Hughley. Rebound by Owens, and he distributes to Rogers. Rogers finds an open teammate, Oben Mensah hits the mid-ranger. Tosses one up for Oben Mensah, kicked out to Kennedy. Kennedy knocks it down for the first, first UMBC three of the half. So Burton, who's got seven points on two of nine shooting today, heads to the bench with four as Keandre Kennedy puts the two in. Owens the three, rims out, rebound Jeffress. Oda Cali with it. He's got 15, feeds Hughley, Hughley up and in for two. The Panthers cut it back down to single digits. Bird with the step back. That was pretty, and he's new to the game. Hakeem Bird. Oda Cali with a few retrievers on him. Doesn't matter. Takes it all the way in for two. Rogers, room on the baseline. What a vision over to the perimeter. Then find Owens in the corner for the three. It's a shame that Rogers doesn't get the hockey assist on that one because his pass, I think, was the most impressive pass of that possession to the outside. Like they were giving Jeffers the three there. He didn't want it. Off to go inside to Hughley instead. Hughley's a beast down low, gets his own rebound, puts it back in. <laughs> Slips past Easy Akuda and across the paint. Three to shoot for the retrievers. Step back from Owens from three. Yes! LJ Owens with a big time triple for UMBC to put him up 12. What a game for him. 10 points, eight assists, six of six from the free throw line, leading the retrievers to their fourth win of the season. Jeffress trying to do what he can to keep it alive today and their second all-time victory over an ACC program for UMBC. Jeffress knocks down another one. And the Retrievers will come away from Pittsburgh with a 10-point win.